Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Today we're looking at getting yourself organised. We're looking at files and folders and how it's all changed in the back end of Canva. But before we do, today's coffee is Symposium. So I'm going to go and brew my coffee. And somebody did ask me the other day where I get my coffees from. And it's from a place called Secret Caffeine Club. I'll put a link down below to them. You can check them out if you're interested in them. Um, I'm not sponsored by them. This is a gift that I've had from my, my other half. Who, by the way, has done the backdrop. We now have, uh, I don't know if you can see there. We've got a um, Santa's sleigh. Lots of reindeers. All sorts of coffees hanging up here and we've even got a bell notification icon so if you're not subscribed make sure you click subscribe click the bell notification icon ding and uh yeah i'll be back with you in a second okay today's video what i want to show you is folders and organizing your work in canva now it can sometimes look like you've got a very kind of like cluttered desktop and not desktop but kind of like a, a work area of where all your files are now if you're on the free version of canva you get i think it's two folders which you know can kind of like help a little bit um but if you've got a pro account you actually get unlimited folders and you can put folders inside folders so you can get really organized with your work so i'm going to dive into canva and i'm going to show you how you can get sorted Okay, here we are, we're in Canva, and this is just uh, uh, another account that I have access to, to provide tutorials. And I kind of wanted to show you this because I don't have many kind of like designs on this side, but it kind of will help kind of look and show you where things are kind of like, or how you can organize things. So you can come down the side, and if you go to all your designs, you'll see that on this one, I've got kind of like these three designs. Now, you'll notice this one, it says Facebook templates, but it's an Instagram post. Now, I don't want to confuse you. What I've done is I've put an Instagram post in my Facebook templates. But if I just click on this icon here, Facebook templates, you see that's going to take me to folders and Facebook templates. Now, this one here, I can click on the three dots up here and I can remove that from the folder. So that folder is now empty. So if I then come back to all my designs, you'll see that these are, I'm gonna change this icon because that's really confusing having a Facebook icon. Let's just come to this post here. So I'm just gonna put this post here. Now, if you, once you've finished designing your design and you've chosen your template, what you can, you've come to download and you know, you've given it a name. Now you might wanna to come to here and give it an actual IG happy birthday okay now the first thing that I really recommend is when you're in your designs always 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 give it a name that's going to help you recognize it use some key keyword search options here so like keywords that will help you so like I know that this is Instagram and then once you've done that all you need to do is you need to come to file save to folder now, this is then gonna give me my folders. I wanna save this in IG templates, and I wanna save it there. Okay, so that is now saved under Instagram templates. So if I come back to this all designs, and click on refresh, you'll see now this, and the first bit here is slightly bolded, will show you where it is located. So this one is an Instagram post, located under IG templates. This one's an Instagram post, but it's not located in a folder because it's not got this slightly bolded kind of like area here. So if I go to, I can click now on this IG templates and that's gonna give me my file structure here. And I can change the way this looks. I can choose view as a grid or I can view it as a list. And you can then sort these out and you can sort by you know ed when it was edited you can see the type of folder and on the icon here you can then choose if you wanted to you can remove from the folder you can move it to the trash you can also download it you can move it to another folder if you wanted to or you can make a copy i can also come over to here and i can create another folder so this is adding a folder with inside a folder 
I want to call this folder holiday templates okay so I've now got a folder inside the folder so if I wanted to I could then come over let's say I create a new design so I'm going to create a new design a new Instagram post and I want to search for Christmas okay I'm gonna go with this one it's quite a jolly one isn't it anyway come over here go to file save to folder but you notice one of the things that I've not done is I've not given it a name but what I want to do is I'm gonna come over here let's go to IG templates if I click on the little so if I click on the actual folder here you'll see it just says to save there but we know we've put a folder inside a folder so what you do is you now click on this little arrow if you hover over you can see it change slightly and you click on that and that allows you to then highlight and save it in the holiday templates okay and I'm gonna um, just rename this one I'm gonna name it Santa uh, bold okay now if I come back to my main folder structure now if I click refresh on this you'll see I've got my happy birthday one here and I've got my holiday templates here so this is where this, and it's not showing up it takes a little while to kind of like show up the actual kind of like the icon or kind of like a thumbnail of the actual image if you like but this Santa bold is now in here and if I come back to all my designs you can see Santa bold is in holiday templates and this one is in IG templates and as I say I can come over and I can change the view of this and the reason I'm showing you this from this demo account is because obviously I've got client work and I don't want to show you kind of client work but I have a folder where I kind of like add client work and things like that or templates that I create on my Canva portfolio and if you're not aware or don't haven't seen my Canva portfolio I'll put all I put a link down below to my Canva portfolio and you can start having a look at some of the templates that I create there on Canva directly. But that's a quick look at folders, using folders in Canva to get yourself organised. Just a quick tutorial today. Hope that helps. Until tomorrow, bye for now.